All right. Day 13 of 14 of fluorouracil. Um, pretty red. I'm shiny from, I just put on some aquifer. Yesterday was interesting because um, it rained all day here and the temperature got up to about 60 degrees. And uh, the humidity up here in my room was close to 50. And I didn't put any aquifer at on, aquifer on at all yesterday after my morning application and it was fine. Matter of fact, I almost thought, almost began to think Maybe the medication has reached its zenith, you know. A uh, little bit during the night itchy because I put aquifer on before I went to bed after my application. Um, but I slept good, mostly. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm becoming a little tired, a little sort of accumulative exhaustion just from my face will say creating so much energy or using so much energy to heal or something and the idea that it's while it's not painful and it doesn't itch to extremes all the time it's ever present just no getting around it's ever present so I think maybe there's and you know I'm sure there's some psychosomatic um, neurons firing that uh, just increase that accumulated exhaustion so I'm I don't feel bad but I'm tired pretty tired um, tired of doing it tired of thinking about it tired of talking about it <laughs> um, most of my fr friends have seen me and you know I mean I don't really care about that uh, I like them not that bad, except for my neighbor. She's like, oh no. Of course, she's um, she's a phys ed teacher, and uh, she's blonde haired and blue eyed, and has spent a lot of time in the sun. She's only 35, 36, and uh, I said, this is probably gonna probably gonna be your uh, your shtick in 10 or 15 years, and uh, hey, no matter what, it's better than having something cut off of you. Especially large sections of, you know, because there's guys with, you know, this an end of their nose. You get the top of your, you lose the top of your ear. Or, you know, I mean, doctors, I know people that have had uh, like a skin cancer here and, or here. And sometimes it can just be nothing on top really but underneath there's a good chunk so they have to dig all that stuff out and um, then they have to do plastic surgery uh, I have one friend that had she had um, she was fair skin blue eyed but spent a lot of time riding bikes and running and things like that it was a four hour surgery and while it looks fine now you know there was a lot underneath and Let's say it gets in your eye. Uh, another guy had it here, um, and they had to fold over, had to cut into the laugh lines and recreate the laugh line, and and all those things, which can be not only painful and um, you know a lot of recuperation, but it's damned expensive when you start talking about reconstructive surgery on your face um, people are uh, let's see somebody I know or a friend of somebody I know who had uh, a melanoma removed on her back and there was 44 stitches 44 stitches for a dot a dot this you know who knows how small you know half the size of your pinky nail 44 stitches. Now I imagine that's right there. This is nothing compared to that. So it's a good thing to do and um, 
tomorrow's the last day. I, my heart goes out to people that have to do this for three or four weeks. And I suppose some doctors deem that necessary. I guess if you've had multiple things or a couple of things already cut off your face, you know, however minor they are, which I haven't. Mine was here on my clavicle right there. Um, I've been wearing button-up shirts the last couple of days because pulling a t-shirt off and on over my head is not a lot of fun. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I just, and you know, I mean, I can touch my skin and obviously I can rub stuff on and it's, it's, um, it's, it's not that bad, but it's, um, just brushing something like that. I just, even though it's oh, so quick, I just decided, I think I won't do that for a couple of days and just wear button up shirts and alleviate that problem. Um, all these little things that go on and happen when you live and learn um, but so far so good uh, so this is day 13 of 14 I've got three applications left and uh, I can't wait for Monday uh, just simply so I don't have to be here or whatever to put the applications on or just the idea of doing that um, even though even though it's not really that bad. It's not really that big a deal. And my face right now um, is really not that big a deal. I mean, it looks, if, when I look like here, it looks a hundred times worse than it feels. It doesn't even feel like a sunburn necessarily. It's a little prickly. Um, a little itchy. Um, I don't feel heat. I don't feel pain. I suppose if you've um, been a person who's gone into tanning beds or purposely went out and sunbathed and all those things, your reaction might be more profound. And while I've spent a lot of time in the sun, um, in my formative years, and I, I played a lot of baseball as an adult, and a cyclist, from probably 25 or 26 years old, I was wore sunscreen 90% of the time. I could say I haven't had a sunburn. The last sunburn I remember was probably walking around Disney World like a dummy um, with no hat. Uh, and that was 15 years ago, maybe more. So, and, and maybe over the last 25 or 30 years, maybe I've had three sunburns. But growing up, I had a lot. So anyway, take care, everybody. Peace. If you're going through it, you'll get through it. If you're contemplating it or have been prescribed this medication, do it. It's better than a knife. Do it. You'll be all right. Peace.